This is a day when they talk about goodwill and peace. So let's generate some peace, generate some goodwill inside. With goodwill, you're wishing for the happiness of everybody. Of course, you know that your simple wish is not going to make everybody happy. For that, they have to create the causes for happiness. But you're doing this mainly to make sure that your own intentions are always in line with the Dharma. As the Buddha said, if you have ill will for someone, that's a sign of wrong view. Your desire to see somebody else suffer, no matter how righteous the suffering might be, counts as wrong view. You have to see that if people can see the error of their ways and change their ways if they've been unskillful, then you're happy to support them, regardless of their past. Now that's a tall order. After all, these aren't Brahma Viharas, these are not Manusa Viharas. A Manusa Vihara would be a typical human attitude. And the typical human attitude is good people and people you like, people who have done good, they should be rewarded with your goodwill. But the Brahma attitude is you give it to everybody, regardless. So you don't keep score, you don't tally up who's done what. You just hope that if anyone's been unskillful in their behavior, they can change their ways. As the Buddha said, someone who's been heedless in the past and suddenly does become heedful brightens the world. So think about that, how much you'd like to see people change their ways. And if there's anything you can do to help, you're happy to do it. In the meantime, you don't want to cause any harm through your own actions. If everybody had that attitude, this would be a very different place. But you don't have to wait till everybody else has the attitude. You start from within. The same with peace. There are a lot of unpeaceful people out there in the world. But we're not going to say, well, wait till everybody else is peaceful, then I'll be peaceful too. The causes for peace are the ability to find happiness inside. And so you do that by meditating. You do it by being virtuous, by being generous. All the activities that count as merit, they lead to peace. If people looked for the happiness in that way, there'd be no, there'd be no squabbling. It's because people are looking for happiness in ways that they gain and other people lose. That's why there's so, a lack of peace in the world. So make sure you're looking for your happiness in, in a way that everybody gains. When you're generous, when you're virtuous, as you meditate and try to clean out your mind. Everybody gains from these activities. So this is how peace begins. This is how goodwill begins in the world, through your own decisions, through your own conviction that what the Buddha said is true. It's through our actions that we experience the world. And so we make our actions as skillful as possible, so that no matter what's coming from our past karma, we can turn it into good food. So peace starts right here. Goodwill starts right here. And then make sure you carry them with you as you go through the world. And don't let the attitudes of the world wash them away.